Hello guys. What do you do when you can't go to the gym? I bring the gym to you. Get out of my video. We have a new furniture in the house. Hot and okay. Hey, it's a uh, it's the new bike. It makes it a little bit more easy to to, to stay fit because now I can can push my cardio a little bit more and I don't have to use uh, that shitty bike that I also just bought. Oh no! Feels really good to get some pain back in the legs and sweat. It's, it's a nice feeling. If there's one thing I have learned from uh, this whole quarantine experience, then it is that I need to get a bigger, bigger apartment because I don't want to be stuck here with my brother. It's really driving me crazy, and I don't have enough space to work out. I'm feeling like I'm getting a little bit insane. And you know I do it well When I come through, better show up respect I ain't want nothing but that motherfucking check You can catch me at your door, you can catch me in your home Oh, you're running late, just send the address to my phone Copy, PG We have changed location Me and my brother went home to Aarhus To the house where we grew up I'm not sure how long we will stay here But uh, as a start, a few days So it's really nice, there's a little bit more space were about to go to go crazy in that apartment of mine so it's really nice that we are here now so this is actually my old uh, bedroom my dad is uh, having some kind of project down here i'm not really sure what it is actually but he said that i could smash this wall down because that's the last thing he needs smash this wall down so um it's gonna bah i think uh <laughs> so my dad said that he didn't want us just to smash the wall because then it would end up like this so yeah i'm quite sure we did the exact opposite of what he told us but um i'm not cleaning it up so i don't care yes. Det er, som, som det skulle være. Hold kæft, man. I want to show you uh, show you the place where I've been spending the most time of my life, I guess. Um, it's a place that means a lot to me. And it's the place where I've, I was uh, raised as a badminton player. Um, and it is, of course, Aarhus Badminton Club. The reason why I started playing in this club was uh, mainly because of my uh, my dad because he works uh, he works in the club um, he kind of kind of runs the club and my brother were playing here as well and uh, my mother also um, and we only live like 500 meters up the street from here so you can probably imagine that I've been spending much much time uh, in this hall here you can see the, the sign that's how it looks Old Spamton Club. Um, 
at the moment the the the, um, the hall is actually shut down it's closed as it says here on the sign of course because of uh, because of the coronavirus there's no no practice ongoing in there no activities at all which is really sad but because um because my dad works in here and he he had some stuff to do then i had the chance to to show you around in the hall if you find that interesting entrance here with the beautiful logo and the first thing you see when you enter the hall is me of course it says world sil world championship silver 2019 basel the kid that was born and raised pretty much in this hall so that's a really nice gesture for them to hang me right there and here we have just turn the lights on here we have the badminton club five courts all made out of wood beautiful colors many of my of my followers are from uh, indonesia or, or maybe somewhere out in asia and as you can see this is uh, really different from the badminton clubs that you are used to so it's a really different feeling to play in here compared to a big big arena um, but it's it's actually quite easy if you have tried it many times then it's quite easy and it's a really enjoyable experience because the sound is really crisp so when you make a good stroke a smash or something like that then you can really hear the the really nice sound of the of you hitting the hitting the shuttle hard.